Lecture 3, The Importance of Starting with a Strong Concept or Idea Good morning class. I hope you all had a productive week working on your novel ideas. Today, we are going to dive deeper into the third lesson on creating a novel, which focuses on the significance of starting with a strong concept or idea. A compelling concept not only captures readers' attention, but also maintains their interest throughout the entire story. So why is a strong concept so crucial? Well, think about it, when you browse through a bookstore, or scroll through a list of recommended books online, what grabs your attention first? It's usually the concept or idea behind a novel. In a sea of stories, a unique and intriguing idea can make your novel stand out and hook readers right from the start. Now, let's discuss some techniques and strategies for generating these ideas. One effective method is to observe real-world events. By paying attention to the world around you, you can find inspiration in headlines, news stories, or even ordinary occurrences. For example, Jodie Pickle's novel Small Great Things tackles the complex topic of race and prejudice, drawing inspiration from real-life incidents. The strong concept of exploring racial tensions from multiple perspectives not only captivated readers but also allowed Pickle to delve deep into her character's journeys. Another way to generate ideas is by exploring your personal experiences. What unique experiences have you had that can be transformed into a compelling story? For instance, Elizabeth Gilbert's novel Eat, Pray. Love stems from her own journey of self-discovery through travel, spirituality, and romance. By starting with a strong concept of a woman's quest for happiness and fulfillment, Gilbert captured millions of readers who resonated with her story. In addition to observing the world and exploring personal experiences, don't be afraid to delve into unusual perspectives. Think outside the box and challenge conventions. For example, Gillian Flynn's novel Gone Girl takes a unique approach by exploring the dark side of marriage and presenting complex characters with hidden motives. This strong concept of a psychological thriller with unreliable narrators kept readers on the edge of their seats and became a huge success. Now that we've explored some successful novels that started with strong concepts, let's move on to practical exercises to help you brainstorm and refine your own ideas. One effective exercise is the what if technique. Start with a simple question like, what if time travel was possible? Allow your imagination to run wild, exploring the consequences and possibilities that arise from this concept. This exercise can help you generate intriguing ideas that can lead to engaging plots and compelling characters. Another exercise is to create a mind map. Write down your main concept or idea in the center and branch out to explore related themes, characters, and conflicts. This visual representation can help you identify connections and potential storylines, allowing you to refine and expand upon your initial concept. Throughout this process, it is important to strive for originality. Push beyond cliches and stereotypes and explore new angles and perspectives. Remember, readers are always hungry for fresh and unique stories that haven't been told before. In conclusion, Starting with a strong concept lays the foundation for a successful novel. A compelling idea not only grabs readers' attention, but also keeps them engaged throughout the entire story. By observing real-world events, exploring personal experiences, and delving into unusual perspectives, you can generate unique and intriguing concepts for your own novel. Through practical exercises like the What If, technique and mind mapping, you can brainstorm and refine your ideas, ensuring that they are fresh and compelling. Keep in mind that the concept or idea is just the starting point. In future lessons, we will explore how to further develop and expand upon these ideas, shaping them into fully formed plots and well-rounded characters. So keep working on your concepts and be ready to take them to the next level in our upcoming classes. Thank you for your attention, 
and I look forward to seeing the innovative ideas you come up with. Happy writing!